Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs with an unboxing of the Lenovo Moto G5 Plus. This is going to be my wife's cell phone. I have a Motorola Pure something, something, something. And I got this more than a year ago. And when I got it, it was already a year old model, but I really like it. It's got an enormous display, very high resolution, and it's worked very well for me. It's fast and powerful. So when it came time for her to get a new cell phone, we decided that we'd get the Moto G5 Plus. This seems to be still a current model. We got it at Costco on, of all things, Black Friday, which was yesterday, 2017, and uh, it was a great price. It was $170 at uh, Costco. So let's talk about the Moto G5 Plus as I unbox it. How does it open? Ah, okay. There's a thing I have to cut here, and I've got a drawer near me with a pair of scissors I can use to slice this, hopefully without cutting myself. Okay, here is the Moto G5 Plus. Of course, it's got a screen protector, and I'll be talking about uh, many of these features. One of the cool things is it has a fingerprint reader, so my wife is looking forward to be, uh, being able to lock the phone using the fingerprint reader. Uh, it also has an octa-core 2 gigahertz processor. We're hoping that's going to be pretty darn fast. And it also cool, uh, one of the cool features is it comes with turbo charging. So it's a much faster charging than your typical cell phone. Now my uh, Moto Pure or whatever it is uh, also came with the turbo charging. I very seldom use that. That's a separate charger that's in the box. I'll take it out in just a moment. Uh, I seldom use it. I just normally plug it in in the car or to a normal charger, and it seems to charge at the normal rate. But the turbo charger, when I have used it, it's really fast. It's like three times as fast as a regular charger. So, okay, let's uh, just set that aside for now. Hello, Moto. Now, Mo you, Moto, of course, used to be Motorola. And the cellular division of Motorola was bought by Lenovo. I don't know if you people know, but Lenovo was a spin-off of IBM. When IBM spun off its PC division, that was called Lenovo. It's no longer part of IBM, but it's got uh, IBM DNA in its uh, bones there. So maybe that means something good for the Motorola. Motorola was also a, um, a old, high-quality company. So... Uh, Maybe it's uh, going to work out well to have IBM combined with Motorola. Okay, here's what's underneath. You have your standard USB cable. Well, let's pop this off. I don't know if this cable is required for the turbocharger. Let's do it the easy way. Again, I've mostly charged my phone with a regular charger. But this seems to be a good length here. And this is the turbo charger. It's got your normal USB port on the one side. And of course, a micro USB on the other, which uh, this is what everything uses nowadays, which is a wonderful thing that so many products use a micro USB port. And there's a couple of little manuals here, some readmes in a couple of different languages. And it looks like this might be, oh, okay, this is the tool that you need to get at the SIM. So somewhere along the side of this, uh, I'm guessing it's right here, is the compartment for the SIM. And you poke this in. Anyway, uh, this is the tool that you use to get in this tiny compartment right here, which I believe has the SIM underneath it. Also on this phone, it takes a external memory. So maybe both the memory and the SIM go in this slot here. Now let's talk about this phone. I'll peel its cover off the screen. Oh, okay, it's, uh, yeah, the cover doesn't want to come off the screen. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. They call this uh, some kind of silver gray is the finish here. And, of course, here's the camera. Now, the front video camera, actually, they call this the rear video camera. The rear video camera is a 12 megapixel, and it's got dual LED flash here. Pretty sure that's dual LED flash. The front camera, oh, it's already firing up, is a 5 megapixel, and it looks like there's no flash on the front. 
Now this display is a 5.2 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. So it's a full HD display and it's already talking to me. That works out to 424 PPI for the resolution. So it's pixels per inch is 424, which is a very nice, smooth, as uh, Apple would call it, a retina display. And the display has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on it. Now, uh, there's a couple of different versions of this phone, all of them being called the Moto 5G+. Plus. There's one with 2 gigabytes of RAM and one with 4 gigabytes of RAM. This is the 2 gigabyte version. Now, those two versions also have different storage amounts. Uh, there's 32 gig and 64 gig. The 2 gig RAM unit comes with 32 gig storage. The 4 gig RAM comes with 64 gig of storage. Since this is the 2 gig RAM, it comes with 32 gig of storage. And uh, this is an unlocked phone. It will work on any carrier service. It has both GSM and CDMA. So it can work on Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, and any other company that uses the same sort of networks that those uh, big four use. It also, of course, has LTE. And since LTE is very similar to GSM, it uses virtually all the LTE bands. Now, this has a water repellent nano coating. So if you get it a little wet, you don't have to freak out. However, it does not have NFC, near field communication. That's what you would use to pay with your cell phone. So you go into a Starbucks and you tap this against their, their pay thing and it would automatically pay. This does not have that feature, no NFC. For location, it has both GPS and assisted GPS, a GPS. So uh, it should do pretty good for travel. You should be able to travel with this and use it for mapping. Even when you're out of sight of a tower, you get no service from a tower. It should still work. There is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on it. And uh, pretty much that is an overview of the Moto G5 Plus. I do want to mention that the camera, the 12 megapixel camera, it's got a lot of features it talks about with the camera. Uh, it does have an f1.7 lens, which is a very low loss lens, so it should work reasonably well in low light, but that remains to be seen. I haven't used it well, uh, haven't used it yet, but we'll find that out. Now, my Motorola Pure, whatever it is, uh, it's got a pretty good lens too, pretty good uh, camera, and takes decent pictures. I've used its pictures many times, and I'm not afraid to go ahead and shoot with that. One more thing about this that I'm looking forward to is it shoots 4K video. That's the new high resolution video. That's four times the resolution of high definition video. Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs wrapping up an unboxing of the Lenovo Moto G5 Plus. Thanks for watching.